Hi Stampers! Happy New Year! It's Kelly from Stamping with Kelly and I'm so glad that you are joining me. Maybe you're live, maybe you're on the replay, that's all right. No matter how you're watching this, I would love it if you would comment along. It always brings me so much joy to see who is crafting with me. So I'm just gonna double check. Everything is going, everything is working here. That's good. <laughs> oh, as always you guys, I had to like do my double restart, even though I did this 15 minutes ago. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like right at seven o'clock. Um, the little bugs, the computer bugs come out and then they mess everything up. But anyways, here we are now. It is January 2023 and I can't even believe it. Can you? Um, I had not the greatest start to the year. I was under the weather and then we did a house renovation for our kitchen and our bathrooms. And if you want to see pictures, please look on my um, Instagram and on my Facebook. But uh, it's all done now. So now it's just a matter of putting everything back together. So that really takes a lot of time and effort. <laughs> and so some things are still sitting in boxes and I'm okay with that because frankly, like every day I just have to be like, um, what did you do today? Okay, that's good enough, right? Is anyone else feeling like this after the holidays? A little bit burnt out, <laughs> a little bit tired, a little bit overwhelmed, back into the swing of things? Anyways, I hope that you're doing well and I'm glad that you are joining me for some crafting therapy because I need it. So um, this is our monthly online card club and so this is actually the start of another round of club. I love my club. It's my favorite events of the month. I've been holding them for over 15 years. I'll be a demonstrator of 16 years in this May. So um, it's my longest running event every third Monday and Tuesday of the month, except for if I have to delay a month like this month, or delay a week this month. Um, so yes, uh, things might be a little bit later or shifted or a little bit, but we do hold it every single month of the year. So my clubs run from January until the end of June and then July to the end of December and what this means is that you can sign up for the six month period and get fantastic savings so normally it's 15 or sorry it's $20 to pay the class fee but if you um, prepay you actually get it for just $15 per month and that's all of the projects you're going to see here tonight sent to you by mail or you can pick up from my house in South Edmonton and receive an extra project for free. So if you want to place orders, that's an even better option because you'll get your projects for free. So with a minimum $35 order each month, if you commit to spending that over the six month period, then you will receive your projects for free every month as well as a minimum 10% shopping spree. So at least $20 that you'll get to spend on whatever you want. I think the average for this last round was something like $90 or I think it, it was either 70 or 90 the last couple of times that was the average. People are redeeming up to a couple hundred dollars worth and a 50% off item as well. So if you've got a lot on your list and you want the inspiration for how to use it, Card Club is your best bet. So I did sign ups in January and in July. So right now is the best time to join. Now, if you're watching this in the future, then it might not be January anymore, it might not be July, but reach out to me because you can drop in at any point and um, you can drop in month to month before the next round starts and then you can join at that point. So let me know if you're interested or you're curious about receiving some cards for free or play, paying the class fee. You can do either option, that's totally fine, but I'd love to have you crafting along with me. So I'm going to share with you a couple of special promotions that we have going on this month. So. Um, Stampin' Up! is changing their celebration program. This is something that's been around as long as I've been a demonstrator, and they've changed it a few different times. A couple of years ago, they added a second celebration. So it's always been kind of in January, February, and then the last couple of years, we've added a second one in July and August. Stampin' Up! is reverting back to their once a year program. So it's going to be in 
January and February of 2023 that you can take advantage of celebration. You can take advantage of it three different ways. The first way is to shop. And I love this way because you're rewarded for every $60 order increment. I'm in Canada, so if you're watching from another country, your numbers will be a little bit different. But in Canada, if you spend $60, you get to choose out an exclusive celebration item. When you choose out $120 of product, you can actually choose out two $60 items or a deluxe $120 item. So we have a celebration brochure that's available right now. And we're going to be um, exploring that a little bit tonight. But I'll just show you here quickly. We've got two new catalogs going on. So we've got our celebration brochure. And then we've got our brand new mini catalog that just launched. This is available until May 1st. And celebration runs until the end of February. So those that's the timing for those. We also have an annual catalog. So if you don't have one of these, please reach out to me. This one is also available until May 1st. And this one has tons and tons and tons of products in there. The other ones are more like supplemental seasonal items and new items. I am so gaga over this catalog and we're going to be using a lot of this tonight. So, so shop and earn free celebrations until the end of February. Now I want to also mention that I have a special promotion every month as well. Normally it's at $100, but during celebration I change it to $120 to coincide with that deluxe two-part celebration or the deluxe $120 item that you can earn. But I offer you a gift as well. So if you decide to place a minimum $120 order, no, not only will you get your free club cards, you will get two gifts from Stampin' Up! and two gifts from me. So my special during January is this gorgeous ribbon. It's real red ribbon and it's uh, like a stitched satin. It's really thick and luxe and it's about a centimeter wide. Um, this You get 10 yards of it though. It's incredible. And then at the bottom there, it's maybe a little bit hard to see, but that's our silver foil two-pack that we used to offer. This is a bright true silver, which is a little bit different than what we have in our three pack right now. So this is a, only one color, not three colors like the one in the catalog, but I'm going to show you both of them. And if you decide to place a $120 minimum order this month, you're going to get these two items from me for free. So now let's go back to Stampin' Up's offering during celebration. I hope you guys are, are you guys commenting along? Oh, I hope. Start commenting along, you guys. I'd love to see who's on and say hi to you. Um, so another special that Stampin' Up! has during celebration is when you host a party. And I'm so excited about this because I'm hoping to get back into some more in-person events. And if you are and you would like to have an in-person party with your friends, have me supply all the projects for you to have fun. And then any sales go towards host benefits for you. So that can be um, a minimum of $20 if you collect orders of at least $200. Or, you know, if you prefer, we can do like a kids class or something like that. That's great because, you know, people pay the fee, the class fee, and it goes towards actual product that's getting ordered from the catalog. And then you can get the host benefits on that. Or if you join our card club, then over the six month period, if you have at least $375 in orders, then you'll get this scenic garden stamp set, or you'll have an option to redeem for something else. So I always give my club members an option for this. So if you're hosting a party, um, it has to be at least $375 of orders that you collect, and your orders can count towards this as, as well, um, before you receive this scenic garden stamp set. It's so beautiful, and you can see it in your mini catalog. We have a third way to take advantage of celebration right now, and that's to join Stampin' Up! as an independent demonstrator. So that would be just like me, but you don't have to run a business just like me. Many people sign up just for the discount and to order through themselves to have wonderful perks like meeting other demonstrators and, or attending demonstrator-only events. So this is a wonderful time to join because uh, not only will you get the amazing deal of the starter kit, you can also Get your hands on this beautiful boho blue mini machine. This is a brand new sneak peek of our colors that are coming, one of our colors that's coming in our next catalog. So we always have in colors 
and this is going to be one of our colors that's going to be in the next catalog. So we've got three different options. Options one or two are to choose a mini machine, and you can choose either in the boho blue color or the original white mini machine color. It's an $86 value. And then you get to choose out from any of the current products, um, that can be even on the, from the online store too, your choice of $225 of Stampin' Up! products, and you'll only pay $175 for this amazing deal. That's no shipping and no tax um, when you're in Alberta. When you're in another province, I think you might pay a little bit of tax, but I'm not sure of the ins and outs of that. Um, you have a third option as well. If you didn't want the mini machine, you can get just the amazing deal of the starter kit, and that's $225 of product of your choice, and you only pay $135. No shipping or tax or GST, anything like that. It's just $135. So that's already it's an amazing deal to sign up with the Demonstrator Starter Kit. Now during celebration, that's going to give you $60 more than our regular promotional offer. So if you're thinking about it, if you have questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer you. I've got so many people on my team and everyone is working their business in a different capacity. Some people uh, enjoy just ordering through themselves. Some people enjoy casual stamping events with friends or placing orders through them. Some people are doing clubs and classes and online just like me. So I'm happy to support you in whatever you want from your business. And uh, we've got a really strong team as well as my uplines team as well as really strong. So it's a wonderful community of stampers who are like-minded and creative and share ideas, help each other out with questions. And um, we do also a whole bunch of demonstrator only events too. So if you're interested, just let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to answer more questions. Okay. Now let's talk about some kits that we have right now. So this is the upcoming Paper Pumpkin Kit. You just need to sub subscribe by February 10th, and this will be the kit that's mailed out to you automatically halfway through February. So it's called Sunshine and Smiles. It's like a froggy themed kit, which I love. And um, we got a little sneak peek up there with those cute, that cute little frog and those little flowers. And you can actually purchase some dies that coordinate with it. So I already have them here. They're really adorable. And um, they're a great little pack there. And I think it's just $9 or something like that. So it's a really good deal. And then you can keep using that stamp set that's included in the kit and um, die cut out the little flowers and the froggy. So again, this is with our Paper Pumpkin. This is a monthly subscription program. You can choose to get one kit um, just pay month to month or you can prepay subscriptions and get one kit, three kits, six or 12 months of kits. And you can pause at any time so if you like the idea of the preview you can leave your subscription as is or if you feel like it's not suited to your taste you can also skip that month. So you can make a three month subscription last over six months if you wanted to and just pick and choose the kits that you want. I also want to let you know that Stampin' Up! has a um, guarantee that you will be satisfied with your kit. So if for whatever reason you're not, you can contact Stampin' Up! and they will make it right for you. So um, that brings me to my next point. Please, please, please check your subscription right now and see how many months are remaining if you're a current subscriber. Then be sure to purchase your prepaid subscriptions during celebration because those count towards celebration rewards as well. If you get a 12 month subscription, I think it is five, five celebration items that you get to choose. Plus you'll earn a $30 shopping spree right off the hop. So um, if you're interested in those, if you have more questions, please let me know. I love, love, love prepaid subscriptions and I always fill mine again every celebration because you can't beat that offer. Now, many of you might be wondering and saying, oh, I still have, you know, a couple months left. It's still the best time to buy it. So buy your prepaid subscription. They will email you a code and then you can apply it to your account as soon as the other code goes in active. And if you're just starting off, honestly, get a prepaid subscription too, because then it counts towards getting your club cards for free. Um, it can count towards celebration with a minimum $60 order and um, and then you can even top it up with other items as well so it can be added on to any order type just let me know and I'd be happy to walk you through it 
All right, let's talk about another kit that we have. This one is so fun. This is not from our kit, um, or sorry, our paper pumpkin. It's from our kits collection. So let me just transition you down. This is called Saying Thanks. And it's this adorable kit. When you open it up, you'll notice there's no stamps and no ink. And that means that this kit is more affordable than ever because you're not paying for those other items. This is a kit with nine cards that are all rainbow themed and take a look at these envelopes aren't they adorable you could cut those up and use them too this one here is the, like a modeled background and included in your kit are these um, little sheets here there's three of them there's like black embossing shininess around the edge and then you just pop out these little hearts i like to do all three at a time However many sheets there are of the same pattern, I like to do them at the exact same time. It seems to work really well. But that's going to go over top and peekaboo this great pattern in behind. See that? Fun, right? And then we also have some other cardstock bases. So those three are the same. Then we've got these ones here. They're already printed and ready to go. And that's what it, that card looks like. Cute, right? And then we have these rainbow ones, which are so adorable. They look completely hand-painted, but you don't have to do any of that work. And the card that it makes there is this one here. It's cute, right? So because there's no stamping, all the stamping is done for you. And Stampin' Up! has given you more options than ever. So we've got it in English and French. And then we've got it in German and Dutch. So you've got all of these saying options for everything. So if you've got other languages or multilingual people in your life, then you can really use this kit to the fullest. I appreciate you and you're the best. And again, um, just wanted to say, you're the best, just wanted to say, and then you have your thanks that goes in there. So you can just pop these out and put them on with the adhesives. They've given some really fun adhesives here. These are the adhesive strips. And so you can just put those together. And then you've got these adorable little um, embellishments. Can you see those there? They're like iridescent little diamonds. And they're adhesive too. So I love this kit because really all you have to do is grab some scissors. And if you like other adhesives, I always use a stamp and seal. So I grab one of those and one of those and then this box and pack it up and I take it to my son's hockey practice. I take it to the rec center while he's skating or while my daughter's playing in the play place with the other kids. All I have to do is just throw those in there and I've got a little bit of me time <laughs> built into my day. So, um... My kids are three and six now, and boy, are they busy. They keep me very busy. So any little bit of me time that I can grab <laughs> is definitely appreciated. So this kit, like I mentioned, is not our standard kit price, which is around the $30 mark. This one's, I think, $19 before shipping and handling and tax. So it's a really great deal. We have another kit here, which I will show you. This one is our paper pumpkin from this current month. Uh, where is it? Key to my heart. Here we go. So this one makes nine cards as well. And I'll show you what's included in this kit. Just have to pivot back here. There we go. So inside this kit, we have a, an adorable little stamp set here, which includes lots of little pieces, lots of sayings, and then you've got the little lock. You've got this little embellishment, you've got the, I guess this is a keyhole, this is a lock and a key, as well as one stamp that includes all of these. I'm using on this, this one on a project tonight, so that's why I've taken it off. But with this stamp set and the Fresh Freesia ink spot that's included in this kit, we actually get to create nine different cards. I love the colors in this kit. And I love that they've made the tissue paper the Fresh Freesia color too because it just makes it so much more fun. So you can see, oh, I've got some glue dots on there. So you can see you've got To My Valentine, Love is the Key, 
who hold the key to my heart. But these sayings are interchangeable. So if you wanted them all to be Valentine, you can just put Valentine on all of them or whichever sayings that you want. Just I love you or whatever. I love having some extra Valentine's Day cards on hand. Aren't these instructions great too? They're very visual. We're visual people, right? Why wouldn't we have visual instructions? This um, piece here, Fresh Freesia, is already cut and ready to go, as well as these great little banners. And then you've got these embossed gold pieces, as well as vellum. And you guys know I love vellum. Vellum is like a transparent, translucent um, sheet of paper that brings me back to my architecture days. You got some co so coral twine there and then the backgrounds here are all gold embossed and then this is a really fun one. We've got a, a little keyhole cut out and that one looks like this. Cute, right? I'm loving this one. Do they have any printing on the envelopes? Oh, they do. Look at the inside of the envelopes are all printed as well. Love those special touches. They're so fun. And then, of course, the adhesives are included in there as well. So this is going to be a really fun little project for me to put together at the next sporting event. Or, you know, you can even do it at home, right, over a cup of coffee. I just like bringing these in the car or um, stamping with them on the go. But um, you can definitely sit at home and have a little retreat as well. Included in this kit is a little sheet of paper that um, tells us about these heart box add-ons. So if you want to know about these, you can go onto my website, stampingwithkelly.stampinup.net, and you can click under Shop Now and see these boxes in action. They've, um, they come together really quickly and easily, and then you can get a sense of the scale as well. I don't have these ones on hand. I'm using some boxes from last year. But um, these are a great option because they coordinate perfectly with the kit. And your kit actually includes some extra items that you can even decorate those with. So that's a, a great option there. Since we're talking about paper pumpkin kits, I can show you the last month's kit too. So this is from January. If you guys are interested in these, don't worry. I have some extra, so you just have to contact me and let me know what you would like. And I'd be happy to get these over to you. So this one is the Good Things Come in Small Packages. It comes with a Garden Green ink spot and this great stamp set which has so many sayings on it. Isn't that fabulous? I love saying stamp sets and especially the paper pumpkin ones seem to be a little bit smaller. So they give you the ultimate flexibility in putting them on all kinds of cards and tags. So then in this kit, this one's a little bit different. This one actually makes these cute little boxes and they come together really quickly and easily. I think there's 16 in there. They're about the size of holding a gift card, but a little bit thicker. It includes all these pre-printed um, items. Look at, you can make little graduation ones, little flowers, whatever occasions that you want or need. And then again, the printed card backs for the little pieces here that you're going to use. Um, to put onto your boxes. I'm saying card backs, but these aren't even cards. These are like little bread tags. Aren't they cute? And then here are the boxes. They come in a bunch of different colors. Four different colors here. And oh, five different colors here, looks like. And you can even customize it on the other side too. So you can choose whichever one's Sorry, it is four different colors. It's like, how did they add a different one since I looked at this last? <laughs> there we go. Four different colors, but then the back sides are different. So you can choose to go, you know, a little bit darker, more masculine. You can choose to go brighter, more pastel, whatever you decide for the perfect person in your life. And once again, you've got options with the little slides that go over top of them. So these little slides go on top of the box, and that's what you decorate there. And then you've got... Some more basic patterns, and then you've got some um, more exciting patterns on there too. I really like these boxes because you can decorate these up and have them ready to go, and you don't actually have to assemble the box until the last minute. But you can see this is the depth of the box, so it's thicker than um, 
a gift card, right? It would fit a gift card this way, but it's thicker than that. So you could put chocolates or some little treats in there. Um, it'd be perfect for wrapping up all kinds of gifts. But I like having stuff like that on hand so that I can have a little thank you present for a person. And the last time that I was in um, Starbucks, like actually walking in, I picked up a whole bunch of gift card packages. You can get them even in sets of five for five dollars on each card and I thought that those were great to have on hand we're gonna use that well I'm showing you how you can fit one of those in one of the projects that we're making today too one more paper pumpkin to show you guys because that's this is going to be our first project that we're going to work on here tonight um, so this one, I just want to pin it back here and make sure. Yay! Oh, yes, I know, Michelle. The rainbow kit, it's so you. It's so me, too. I just love that happiness. I, I don't know who doesn't like rainbows, but I think that they are one of the happiest things. Um, this here is the Kisses and Hugs kit. This is from a year ago, so January 2022. And I managed to snag these on a really good rate. So I can give you a discounted rate on these. The refills are just $9, less than $1 per card. And if you want a full kit, I have them for $17. You guys are intrigued? You want to see what's inside? <laughs> I hope so. So it comes with this cute little stamp set, which has X's and O's and these great heart shapes, as well as really fun and compact little sayings. You even have the little arrow through the heart, and I love a good polka dot. That's so versatile. Speaking of versatile, this gray granite stamp and spot is one that you're going to go to over and over and over again. So um, this is a wonderful way to build your stamp pad collection too, because you can use these stamp spots really easily. Hi, Vanessa. I'm so glad that you joined. So Kisses and Hugs makes a total of 10 cards, and they're these awesome fold-out cards. So if you guys are stamping along with me, you'll want to get your supplies out now and grab whichever one that you've got here. Maybe you have the vanilla one. I stamped lots of love and some little hearts on there. And then as you open it up, you've got more of this beautiful gold embossing and then a little spot to write your message. If you've got the pink one here, you've got again some stamping on the outside, some little bit of different layers. I did a little stamping here on the inside too. And then it, you can write your little message there. But aren't these deluxe? Like for less than a dollar a card, including shipping, handling, and tax to me. If you need them shipped elsewhere in Canada, I'd be happy to give you a quote. No problem for that. So, um, again, let me know how many of those refills that you want. I'm going to have my son crafting along with me, making some Valentines for his class. And I think that this kit is going to make it so easy for us and fun to put these together. Okay. So grab your cards. You might have one that's vanilla. Oops, that's not the right one here. I don't have that one quite yet. So grab your cards and let's start crafting these. I'm going to give you some hints along the way. And I'm going to give you some inspiration maybe. So this is stamping with just the coordinating color. Brush, blah, blah. Blushing Bride is what I'm trying to say, but I can't spit it out. Blushing Bride is one of the coordinating colors. I want to point out to you that on every instruction sheet, you can look on the back side here, and it says Coordinating Stampin' Up Colors. Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, Gold, Gray Granite, Very Vanilla, and White. So that is going to give you a jumping off point. But I'm going to be doing some embossing with gold for this one. So I'm going to grab a stamp set that I'm using later, but I just love so, so much this Share a Milkshake because it has this really fun saying on there, Be My Valentine. And this is going to really take this card up a notch. So I'm going to use my Versamark. Which one do I embossed? So Versamark ink is our super sticky ink. And I've got my clear uh, stamp and block photopolymer stamp. 
So if you are stamping along with me, if you're making the vanilla one here, you actually stamp onto the lighter pink color if you're making this as per their instructions. Or um, do whatever you want. Really, you can. If you're making the pink one here, then you're going to be stamping onto one of the white hearts that have the gold embossing there. So which one should I make? Maybe the pink one. This is kind of a fun one. So it comes with two hearts in your little packet that I've made up for you here. And then I'm just going to take my Versa mark. Be my Valentine. So cute. So um, this super sticky ink is a watermark impression. So it actually will make it look like you stamped with the same color onto the same uh, color of cardstock. So same color ink onto same color of cardstock. But it's also super sticky. So when we sprinkle our embossing powder over the top, then we are going to take our heat tool because it's going to stick right in place. And I want to show you this. You're going to see it start to change here. You guys see that magic? Oh, so pretty! So now we've got this beautiful embossed look around the edge that was already made for us. And then we've got Be My Valentine that's embossed on there too. From that same set of stamps, there's this stamp here which has these cute little hearts and I think that would be the perfect addition. And we'll just do that with our um, blushing bride color. So when I am working with a million blocks, sometimes I start using the back sides of the blocks. <laughs> you, you think that I would always have blocks handy, but sometimes I don't. <laughs> so now I'm going to ink this up. And let's see here. Be my Valentine. This is one of our lightest ink colors, so it probably won't show up very well on the camera. But hey, it matches. And I love matchy matchy. I might do a third one here. Will it fit? Oh, it will. I didn't even plan to do that, but look at it, it works so perfectly. Be my Valentine. So that is going to be perfect put on there. I just did dimensionals on the back side here and dimensionals here. There's this little tag which comes pre printed with the heart on there. And now I don't know if you've got a little something that would fit there. On their sample, they have a stamp from the um, kit that would work perfectly, but I don't have those stamps right now handy. So let's see here. I'm going to show you a technique so that we can do love you. Where did I put that? I cleaned up from last night, but then did I make more of a mess again? Okay, here we go. So Love You, Miss You. This is from a saying set called Very Best Occasions, and it is fabulous. You've got a bunch of Christmas, you've got birthday, thinking of you, love you, miss you. Does this one go in that one? No, this one goes in that. Another one that's really great, too, is called Celebrating You. It's got lots of awesome sayings. I love saying stamp sets. When I first started, I was always gravitating towards beautiful pictures and imagery, right? But um, since then, you know, I have some built my collection, <laughs> shall we say, and uh, now I really get excited about saying stamp sets. All right, so to ink up just the love you part to get this little love you on there, I'm going to use my Stampin' Write markers. These um, especially the Many Marvelous Markers kit are fabulous to purchase during celebration. This is a, um, you know, a wish list item and there usually are enough to fill in here, but I've got them pulled up for different projects. But what I love about getting them in this kit is that you get this little legend at the back and so you know exactly where to find your blushing bride marker because you can just look it up on the map. 
So again, during celebration, you could purchase something like this as a treat for yourself. And Stampin' Up! will give you a couple of celebration items too. Let's just put this to the side. When you're doing this technique, this direct to rubber technique, it's really fun. And there's just a couple of techniques I, or a couple of tips I would give you. So there's a comma there that's really close and I don't want to get that inked up. I'm using the side of my brush tip. These tips come with this very small fine one and then a big brush tip. And if you're ever wondering, you can just look here and see that's the thick one, that's the thin one. It took us years and years and years to figure that one out. <laughs> so now what you're going to do is huff on it. That's going to re-moisten the stamp, I think, so that you can stamp that on there. I did a little double stamp there, but I think it still looks okay. It kind of looks like it's meant to be, actually. So those are our stamp and write markers. We have other markers that have a rectangular end. These ones are round, they're water-based. The rectangular end ones are called stamp and blends. And these stamp and blends are alcohol-based. So they work almost like a Sharpie. Once they're on there, they're on there for good. And they come in all the Stampin' Up's colors. So they're a great purchase for doing coloring of line art, things like that, but um, they would not work well in an application like what I just did because what you would essentially be doing is coloring your stamp forever and ever. <laughs> so we wouldn't want to use our stamp and blends for a technique like that. I'm just putting some dimensionals on the back side here on my elements that I'm popping up. I put a little bit of stamp and seal here because I'm going to cover it with this square so I could put the arrow on there and not worry about it too much. We got the little love you. Make sure you stock up on your adhesives as well during celebration. Make sure you're stocked with dimensionals. And then I just put this one on flat so that I can write onto it very nicely. Oh, it's on the back side of the card here. Now this looks cute, but we're going to look again in our envelope and make sure we haven't missed anything. Where did I put my little sequins? There should be a little strip of sequins. There we go. And we can put on the sequins to finish this off. So I like using the take your pick tool for this. This is a bonus project. I couldn't not give you guys a bonus Valentine's Day project. And I wanted to tell you about something that I heard just recently. I heard that um, there's a woman who, of course, has kids and is super busy around Christmas and wants every year, you know, wanted to put out um, Christmas cards, but you know what? It just got crazy and she could never get them out in time or get them done. And if that's you, then don't worry, you haven't missed the boat. What she had decided to do instead of adding more pressure to her Christmas season was to um, send out Valentine's Day cards. So she encloses a picture, as many people do in their Christmas cards, and that's her way that she does it. She just does it in, um, in a little bit of a different way. And I love that idea. Isn't that perfect? Because then, really, um, you're brightening someone's mailbox at a time when everything kind of slows down a little bit. So you've got plenty of time now. You can start working on some Valentine's Day cards. And if you contact me, you can get those ridiculously cheap Valentine's Day kits, the refills, for just $9 each. And you can make up a whole bunch of those. Again, there's 10 cards in every kit. So I'm just making this one up really quickly here. So um, this one here, you do the same sort of stamping thing. Maybe you want to do embossing. And then you'd adhere it onto this vellum piece. And then I'd stick that up with some dimensionals onto the front of the card there. Then the same sort of thing with putting on the sequins. We did one, two, three, one, two, three. Three seem to work best when, when you're looking at things. Odd numbers, they say, is more appealing to the eye. So I hope you're okay with that. 
Which one do you have? Do you have vanilla or do you have the pink one? I always love knowing what you guys are crafting along with me. So if, again, if you want any of those kits, they're while supplies last, um, but I do have quite a few of the refills that you can get from me. And then you can make up some cute little Valentines for maybe your coworkers, maybe your um, children's schoolmates. Maybe you want to send them out to your whole family. Maybe you want to start a new tradition like this woman. I love that idea. Okay, our first official club card is our bonus card for picking up. And again, we've got two color options. And I'll show you this one here maybe first. This is a really simple card. It comes together really quickly and easily. But I'm going to show you how to make shimmery cardstock. You can make any color shimmery cardstock. And this one, I think, is just beautiful. This is our new Starry Sky in color. Um, I also have a color option here with some rich razzleberry. Isn't that pretty? This designer series paper is actually some paper that you can receive for free right now with a minimum $60 order. It's part of our celebration offering. And uh, it's so versatile. I'll show you it in a minute here. We've got lots of pieces that you know you can do some really fun design elements with. To put this card together, you're just going to need a saying stamp set. And be sure not to throw away these great clear plastic envelopes. These ones are wonderful for me packing up your supplies, but you can actually mail in them too. So keep those to the side. They're great for protecting your cards too while you're storing them. Maybe you have them in a box or something like that. And I am always rifling through my box trying to find the perfect one. And if you've got them in these nice clear envelopes, your embellishments and your ribbon, everything will stay where you put them. So make sure that you keep these great little envelopes. I think it's fun to give your postal worker a little bit of a treat too, right? They deserve to have their day brightened when they're putting the mails into the mail pieces into the um, boxes. So our magic tool here to create this gorgeous shimmery cardstock is our Winkostella. So we've done Winkostella in many different ways in the past. We've splattered it. You can paint it on. And this one, we're going to paint it all along the edge that's going to be exposed down the side here, both sides. Make it look like this is a whole piece of shimmery cardstock in behind. Make your stamping friends wonder, hey, is that a new product? Which paper did you use? And meanwhile, you just created your own. So now I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and I'm going to do the stamping for my saying. So I've got this little piece here. You can choose to make it go vertical or horizontal. Um, so there's two different shapes and you can choose to do vertical or horizontal, whichever one suits you. I'm using another celebration product here. This is a stamp set called Sending Support and it doesn't showcase it very well in the catalog, but it's got some of the best sayings that I've ever seen. So how about, it's okay not to feel okay or some days are harder than others. Hope today is one of the easier ones. Um, I really like this one. There are so many ways you might feel right now alone shouldn't be one of them. Isn't that special? And courage is being really scared and doing it anyways. My shoulder is yours. You got this. Good luck. Here for you always. Sending loving thoughts and prayers. Aren't those great? These are the kind of sayings that you need to have but you don't want to use but you really have to use them sometimes so which one do you think I should put on here um, I think I'm going to do this two-part one there are so many ways you might feel right now and then alone shouldn't be one of them I think that that's a really special one so here we go there what does it say sometimes it's so tricky to find out which one is which right there are so many ways alone shouldn't be one of them. I'm going to show you how I like to mount up my stamps whenever I'm thinking of it. Sometimes I do the default autopilot version. <laughs> um, but this is a way that ensures that you have your um, rubber laying nice and flat. And I like showing this too for new stampers, of course. 
So this is the one here. There are so many ways you might feel right now. I'm going to peel off both pieces. So there's this backing on here. I'm going to peel off both of those and I'm going to stick it onto my clear block. Then using my take your pick tools makes this part a lot easier to lift up and peel off that backing. There we go. And then I like to take this backing off the rubber foam piece there. And then I make sure that it's the right way up, right? I can tell because it's got that little F, cursive F on there. And then I just mount it up like that, ready to roll. So matchy matchy, if you're wanting to match the colors of this card, you've either got rich razzleberry or starry sky as your accent color. But even a black would work perfectly. A nice light gray, that would be totally fine. So I'm going to use my starry sky here. There are so many ways you might feel right now. Stack that up. Perfect. And then I'm going to clean this off because otherwise I'm going to get that beautiful color everywhere. This is my beautiful simple chamois. Do you have one of these yet? Does it look, does it look like mine? So beautiful. <laughs> it still works. No problem. All you have to do is re-moisten it and rinse it out with water and that will keep cleaning off your stamps perfectly. You can see now this is ready to go right back into my little storage there. And I'm going to mount up the second part here. Cologne shouldn't be one of them. So Simple Chamois is another great purchase. Get yourself some of the tools that you you know, want to use and will make your life easier. Take your pick tool, simple chamois, maybe another set of scissors, especially for ribbon, so they're not all sticky and gummy with adhesive. During celebration, I think it's wonderful to treat yourself on some of these things that you're going to use over and over and over again. So now I'm going to take my card and pop this inside. Alone shouldn't be one of them. There we go. Perfect. Close that up so I don't ink myself again. And get a little scrub. It really takes nothing. And I actually haven't moistened this. So you can see it's getting a little crunchy on the sides there. But it still just picks it up, no problem, even though that's a really dark color. So you can um, use our. Stampin' Scrub, that's another great product with our mist. And that's actually really good for the stamps. It conditions them. You can use that with your simple chamois too. You can have a little spritz of that on there and then you get the best of both. Okay, let's start putting this together now. So I'm going to put this. Ooh, I've got some ink on here. I better wipe that off. Oopsie. My simple chamois hip the dirt. That is definitely a dry wipe. You guys keep baby wipes handy? We used to say that you could um, use baby wipes to clean your stamps. Now they're good in a pinch. They're great on your hands. They're good in a pinch for your stamps but if you do only baby wipes then it actually is going to dry out your stamp rubber and your photopolymer material. The reason is because there's actually alcohol in baby wipes and so part of the reason why it cleans so well is because it has the alcohol in there but you don't want the alcohol in your rubber to dry it out, right? Okay, so some seal on here and I don't know if you can even see that there but I've got my vellum. Now on the back of the vellum, I'm going to put this ribbon on. So flipping it over, oops, there we go. And now to use this ribbon and apply it in the way that I have here, I've just put it into a, a thirds. So kind of wrapped it back on itself and then splayed it out so it kind of looks almost like a bow is behind there. That's fun, right? Maybe I want to do it the other way around. Get my 
are so many ways you might feel right now. That's pretty important stamp message, I think. Sometimes a feel better soon just doesn't cut it. Oh, look at I took that off already. I've got that ready to go, <laughs> but I'll get this other part ready here. Oh yes, I know Starry Sky, I agree, Michelle. It's one of my favorites too. It's just um so vibrant and happy. I think maybe I'm kind of wearing Starry Sky right now actually on my shirt. Um I will caution you, I've got this designer series paper cut longer than your cardstock. And the reason for that is I hate it when I'm a perfectionist, but I hate it when my designer series paper is somehow cut a little bit shorter. So I give you this final job of snipping this off and making it perfect. And that makes me sleep at night. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put on some stamp and seal here. And I can put this onto the front of the card. Again, this is just an idea for the layout for you. I wanted to give you a nice, simple card that would give you some inspiration of how you could make some quick and easy cards this spring. Now the final finishing touch on here is to add our bling. Isn't this cute? It's a little dragonfly. These are from our new mini catalog. If you've got the gold option, then you've got one of our retired, oops, I've got the glue dot sticking out a little bit. I can wrap it down, wrap it in on itself. So if you've got the gold version, then you have a little bumblebee here. But I think either one is just beautiful. If you wanted to purchase these bumblebees, these are from my retired sale. And they're $10 for a pack of oh, 20 of them, I think. 20, I think, in a pack. Um, I don't have them. And then our dragonfly trinkets are in our current mini catalog. Now, if you wanted to add even more Wink of Stella as like a little special touch onto the flowers, you can definitely do that as well. That's kind of fun to paint along with it. So now that we've finished up this card, I'm going to show you where all these products come from in our catalog. So we'll start with our celebration items, because these are extra special and only available. Uh oh, that's never a good sign, right? <laughs> well, something is missing from here, but I'll have to figure it out as I go. These are only available while supplies last until the end of February. And I say while supplies last because um, there are some items that Stampin' Up! does not produce in the United States. They have to get it from overseas, and that's the Designer Series Papers. So the Designer Series Papers, if you've got your eye on one or a few of them, be sure to get them first, and then get the stamp sets later, because those ones, they will continue to produce uh, as required during the celebration period. So this Dainty Flowers Designer Series Paper is the one that we've used on this card here. There's a whole bunch of patterns that work perfectly, but what I also love about them is that the back sides are stunning, like absolutely stunning. So um, that was one of the patterns. You can see they have um, larger scale and then a smaller scale version here too, so that you can um, mix and match accordingly whatever size piece you're fitting on your card, right? The back side of this one has this modeled uh, blushing bride look with the stems on there. And then you've got a little bit more of the rich razzleberry colors and on the back side, starry sky in a fun pattern, like a woven pattern. Then we go into more greens, which is a fun complement. These are just vines, perfect for masculine cards or the gardeners in your lives. In the back of that is our beautiful fresh freesia with some polka dots. This is a really cool one. You can cut this one and make two, four, six of these different wreath card fronts. And you get two sheets, so you can make really 12 of those. And then this one here can be used almost like a strip, like what we did on our card here. And have that vine kind of going up the side or coming out of the side of your card. I love these ones. 
But again, they've made the back like almost too pretty. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. <laughs> you don't want to cut into it. You can't decide which side to use. This is the one that we actually ended up using. So I've just given you a two inch strip here so you can see every two inch strip gives you like this different beautiful flower arrangement like that one there. So um, this sheet alone will do 12 cards like this and you get two sheets of it. The back side of this one here is like a mottled beautiful green color with the greenery on there. So again one side very very high pattern floral. The other side we have subtle patterns, more solid shapes, and then these two gorgeous watercolor looking ones. So pretty, right? Maybe you need two of these ones. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you love it so much. Oh, yes. I know, Michelle. This one is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it as well. Okay. So that was our first item. <laughs> Let me show you the other items that we used here. So the stamp set that I used was the Sending Support. And that one's free with a $60 minimum order as well from our celebration offering. Then from our mini catalog, we've got a few items from in here. So I used the dies from the Something Fancy Bundle. This is great to see in storage, I think, because then it, you can kind of understand how these dies work. So you've got these two shapes, which give you a nesting capability or like a layering capability or you can also use them individually. So if you need a smaller tag or a larger tag, you've got three of this shape here and two of this longer shape. So these ones are the smallest two from this middle design there. These ones um, can actually nest, this piece can nest inside of here as you're cutting it through and this will cut a little hole that you can put ribbon through or something like that. There's also a hexagon, this little tulip, and this little like leaf or branch that you can use as well. This tag is one of my favorite tags and it might seem like it's easy to snip yourself but I'm going to tell you right now a die is a million times easier. <laughs> so this one has a great stamp set that coordinates with it too. It's called Something Fancy and it has some of my favorite sayings in here. I like the mixture of fonts um, I like the size of them and the fact that they're a little bit more compact so you can even put them in circles. Some of them are longer and then some of them are just really small here too which can fit on that great tag. So again, bundle and save 10% when you purchase the stamp set along with the dies and you can see these are all sayings that you're going to use a lot of the time and then the shapes you're going to use a lot of the time. For me, this is a huge winner from our main mini catalog. On page 19, did you see these little dragonfly trinkets hiding up there? They are so gorgeous. You get 20 of those in a pack. And I really like how geometric their wings are. Um, they got a really fun pattern on them. On page 31, uh, what did I do here? I, this catches me every single time. Oh, I know. Some people got some of this brand new Knight of Navy bordered ribbon. This is a really fun ribbon and it's a little bit different than the one that I used here, which is the Fresh Freesia Match. This one here is like um, shimmery on the outside, but almost like a little bit denim-y looking in the middle. This one I think would work for masculine, feminine, any kind of cards and gives you lots of versatility. On page 74, I wanted to point this out because they've got a little summary of some of the products that are continuing forward from our previous catalog. So our, what was it? It was July to December catalog. Some of the items have carried over and will be featured in our upcoming um, May catalog, our annual catalog that's coming out. But right now they're actually not featured in any catalog and that's the case with this ribbon here. So this is our gorgeous gold and vanilla ribbon. And this is currently not in any catalog at all. So what I encourage you to do is make sure that periodically you're checking online and just seeing if there's something that is going to catch your eye on there. Like you can, if you're a lover of gold or silver, just type in gold, just type in silver and you can see what products are there for you. On page 83, if you're ever wondering what the dies look like in a larger, more uh, clear, complete 
um, set. This one's pretty small on the page here to see exactly what's going on. And this just gives you another sample and then gives you a clear indication of what the dies are that are included in a set. Make sure you're using that bundle index at the back. I also like using the other index here, so the catalog at a glance page, and that's how I found those butterfly trinkets because I sure didn't see those on the page. So make sure you're looking through here and um, you're not missing anything. Sometimes they're hiding those little items. <laughs> On page 128 of our annual catalog, one of my favorite products is the Wink Costella Clear Glitter Brush. You know, you're probably just going to want to add that to your order right now to make sure you've got a backup one because if you're using it, you know, to paint cardstock like this, you might go through a little bit more of it and that would be um, tragic to run out. <laughs> Is it tragic? Yeah, it might be tragic. Page 140, one of my favorite um, cardstocks. Well, probably is my favorite cardstock. I use it every single month. Vellum, because it just adds this gorgeous softness. You can use it with dies or, you know, with punch shapes. You can even cut it with your paper cutter into shapes. And um, it just goes with everything because it doesn't add a new color. It just softens the existing colors. And then the last item from the... Uh, annual catalog is our Fresh Freesia uh, Open Weave Ribbon and that's this beautiful one here that we used on this card. I just love how you can see through it in the center there. It's beautiful and sheer and you can even dissect it and use it in so many different ways. Alright, on to the next card. Are you guys ready for it? Again, if I'm going too fast or if my timing's a little bit off, just be sure to check the um, replay. So that's going to be available starting tomorrow on Wednesday. And um, we are going to have that on YouTube and on Facebook forever. All right, the next card that we're making here is like a toned down version of a Valentine's Day card. So maybe you don't like frilly and pink and floral all the time for Valentine's Day. Maybe you want something that's a little bit more subdued for um, a masculine person in your life or someone who doesn't like those kinds of things as much. This card here really focuses on texture. So can you guys see the texture underneath that much, so much love? It's this amazing new corrugated paper that comes in three different colors. I'll show you it right now just because I'm thinking of it. So it's this beautiful balmy blue color and it comes 12 inches by 12 inches. Can you see that there? There's beautiful lines and it's shimmery on both sides of the paper. So there's no wrong side. And then there's the shaded spruce color, which is really fun. And I even did like a tearing technique here. You can see that there. It tears apart very nicely for a swap card that I was making with some demonstrators. So this one here is featuring the new um, turtle stamp set. And then that torn edge is just under here, adding that beautiful extra layer. And guess what? She used vellum again. <laughs> so funny. Am I predictable? Maybe I am. But there's something about liking what you like, right? <laughs> okay, let's get started with this one. There's no stamping on this one. You might have as well um, this for you saying. This so much love for you all comes in a set. But this is kind of like one vignette and then this is one vignette but you can definitely snip these apart when you own them and you can say uh, love you um, for you of course and what was the other one so much love for you you can put all five of them together right so just think how you could use those those words that are really versatile but let's get started putting this one together again you're only going to need some dimensionals blue dots, no stamping at all. Okay, taking the back piece there, and then you're going to pull out this great little frame. This was cut using two dies, actually. There's one die that does the hearts, and then there's another die that does this oval. Now, when you're doing something like this, though, you don't have to do it in two separate cranks through your big boss. You can do it all at once. You just have to be a little bit strategic about it. And I use washi tape 
whenever I'm doing something like that. And I'll show you that in a minute, how I get those to stay together. Some people use mini dimensionals like crazy. On this card, I'm using big dimensionals like crazy. I just want to make sure that it stays popped up all the way around. Oops. So we've got that on there. Now let's take our words and we can stick them on. These ones here, you'll notice the backing has a white kind of plasticky backing on there. That's actually our adhesive sheet. So you can just stick that or put, peel that off and it's turned into a sticker here. You don't have to worry about popping out the backing part. And then I have a great little tip here. If you've got the parts of the O here still stuck in, just use your paper and then you can pop those out really easily. So we can figure out which way these go. So much love and for you. And if you just press it on there, you can be done with it in a jiffy rather than trying to adhere some sort of fine tip glue or something like that. And you want to be a little bit careful, of course, pulling these up. But I found that you can press them back into place pretty easily, especially because you've got this outline as a guide. Do you guys like this um, monochromatic kind of look with just that pop of red? I know that this is much more up my husband's alley. I also know that he doesn't watch these videos, so I can <laughs> make this card and then I can give it to him for Valentine's Day and he won't have seen it. <laughs> That's very handy, isn't it? When your husband, uh, you know, likes your page because he loves you, but definitely blocks it because <laughs> he doesn't want to hear more about stamping <laughs> than he needs to. <laughs> oh, poor guy, right? Inundated with stamping wherever he goes. Even when, you know, we're in the truck and we're going camping, I'm always stamping in the front seat, stamping while we're camping, stamping on a plane. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, I think I've stamped on them all, maybe. <laughs> on the back side here, I'm going to use some mini dimensionals. So the mini dimensionals are a wonderful item to have in your collection, too. So take a peek if you've got those. If you're just starting off and you wanted to get a combo pack, the black ones actually come as a combo pack. So you can get two sheets of large dimensionals and two sheets of of mini dimensionals in the black color all in one package. For the white ones you need to buy them separately. Oops. Stuck on me there. Oh, there we go. So I'm just putting that on lightly because I want to put the much on here first. Much. I'm going to flip the love over it a little bit here. Oops. Sure enough, the dimensional heard me and was like, oh, what's your plan now? I'm going to throw a screw in the works there. <laughs> there we go. So cute. So this for you, I put the um, ribbon in a little bit just to help fill out that space a little bit. But this one, you might want to put the ribbon down. I don't know. However you like it. Nobody's going to know. Um how I put it together, right? They're only going to be happy about receiving a card from you. I'm taking both ribbons here and tying them together at the same time, which is easier when there's not a camera watching you. There we go. And why did that not want to pull through? There we go. So then, you know what? It's never going to be perfect, but what you can do is kind of finesse it a little bit here. So. As I'm going, I'm kind of twisting, and that's the way that you can get these twisted nicely. Sometimes it takes more convincing than other times, but don't be hard on yourself if it doesn't automatically go like that. The knot doesn't want to lay like this, and so you just have to convince it. Show it who's boss. Then I am going to just take a little mini glue dot here. Stick that on 
And once it's on the card, now I can come in with my scissors. We used to sell these fabulous ribbon scissors. But I think, you know what, you deserve a second set of snips maybe that are just exclusively for ribbon. Tie a little bit of ribbon around the handle and then you'll know that those are the ones that are never going to be sticky. They're always going to cut some beautiful ribbon. Boy, how much way am I doing this? There we go. I love these two ribbons. They come in a two pack actually in this catalog, this mini catalog that we have. But it kind of, you know, sparked the idea of this whole card that ribbon with that beautiful white stitching on there. So that would be beautiful just like that, I think. But again, we're gonna take it up a notch here with some fun embellishments. These are little hearts, or they come in three different types of color, I guess I should say. They're all white, but they have different finishes on them. So one of them is quite milky. One of them is very glossy and shiny. And one of them is matte. So I put the three of those on there. Now, did you guys see what else I did on this card here? I took these little confetti pieces that cut out. And this is so funny because it was a real afterthought. But I popped all of them out for you. I separated them out. And then I went, oh, well, you know what? Actually, I really want to use those on the card. So then I had to put them back in. Um, so that's funny. A little run around there. Kathy helped me out with that. Kathy, my little stamping angel who does a lot of the die cutting. I saved her from doing this die cutting on this card though. I'm using a special adhesive called the fine tip glue pen on this card here to create this look. And it's so easy to use. It really works well. And I'll show you the key of what makes it work so well. There we go. So I'm just doing some little dots on there, keeping it small, because I'm going to come in with the little hearts in a second here. So the reason why this fine tip glue works so well is because it's got this little post, this pin, and it goes inside of the nozzle. And when you screw that on, it keeps the nozzle completely clear. Now, if you find you're still having troubles, one thing that I have started doing for years now, and I've never had a problem since, is storing it upside down like this. And that just means that there's no air bubble here, and there's no um, dried glue that's gonna end up inside of this nozzle part. So if you put that nozzle on, or is it this lid on really nicely, make sure the pin's in there, use your finger to glide it on, and then just store it upside down then I think you're going to have great success with this tool. Now, if you have your take your pick tool, this is going to be um, an excellent time to use it. So the take your pick tool from Stampin' Up! has a couple of different parts to it. So they've got this part here, which has um, some sticky putty that comes out. What I do is I just put a little bit out, to, um, you crank it here and then it, this pushes through and squirts it out the nozzle end. I crank it, get the amount that I want, or maybe even just a little bit less, and then I release it. So I, it's now loose and there's no pressure. It's not gonna keep um, squirting out like a snake. And then this other side here, I'm gonna use in conjunction with it, because I can use this putty to pick up the piece, and then I can use this to separate it and put it onto the project. And this goes so much easier when you're using a, a great tool like this. This, um, I'm going to spread these out a little bit. Why are these all upside down? It's funny. There we go. Oops. This glue dries clear, but it does dry shiny. Another glue that we have that you might be curious about using is our Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. It's just a multi-purpose glue and it has two different tips on it. You can use the big wide one or you can use the fine tip on it. This glue is great. I mean, people sometimes use it for the, you know, applying full layers to their cards. 
Um, I'm not as much of a fan just because I don't have a light enough hand to do that. I tend to go overboard. People who love it, they just love it. One thing about that glue that you should know is that it dries tacky. So if you have any over glue, it's not just going to, you know, discolor the cardstock. It's actually going to make it so it's still sticky. So if you put it inside an envelope, it might even get stuck inside the envelope. So that again, it has different advantages because sometimes you want a glue that is going to stay tacky. For example, like if you're sealing up maybe like a little envelope flap that's meant to be opened like on a 3d project or something like that then you would want something like that but otherwise I don't know I don't like that glue popping out and sticking out oops let's put this one over here why did I do more glue dots than my normal sample it's hilarious anyways I really wanted you guys to watch me do this apparently Kind of relaxing though, isn't it? Some of these I'm putting on upside down and they're kind of bowed out a little bit. They're not going on as easily as if they were the right way. There we go. Ta da! Now I've got one piece there that I'll have to apply after. Oh, look, I missed one. This die gives you lots of these great little hearts. You can use the rest of these for a shaker. You could save them for later. I have a little pile going over here, so I'm going to just add them to my little pile and make a cute little shaker card. But this card here, I think, is just so simple, beautiful. I like the white on white with the texture and the shimmer. And uh, I really like the crumb cake on crumb cake for those cute little hearts. So let me show you where those products come from. We've got nothing from our celebration this time, but of course you can redeem for a celebration when you purchase some of these items. On page nine, we've got our Real Red and Burlap Ribbon Combo Pack. Now from the name, you'd think it was actual burlap, but really what it is is like just a woven kind of sateen with um, this beautiful stitching along the side. So I'll show you there. It's not a burlap at all. Um, the real red in this one is similar, similar to the red that I'm giving as a gift here. So this is again like a two pack. So they come in a little bag like this. So you get both of those ribbons. You get five yards of each. Then the ribbon that I'm giving as my gift, you can see, is a little bit wider. But it still has the same kind of look to it. And it's that beautiful real red color. And you'll get ten yards of that ribbon with a minimum $120 order this month, along with some silver paper. Then we've got, on the next page here, this Love For You bundle. And I want to make sure to show you this one. It is a really fun set. So you've got the Love For You stamp set, which includes So Much Love and For You, which you can stamp. You have dies now that are going to cut that out too. So um, you've got this outline that will cut out the so much love. Can you guys see that? You can do it in that way. Or you can use the fine ones that we've got here. So the for you and the so much love I cut out of the black. And then I use this medium one to create that corrugated one. There's also a third die in the set, which you can add a third layer. This, so this is showing the finest layer and then the most, um, the largest bubble around here for the So Much Love. But you could add even like a third layer in there if you wanted to do that, right? Add in some designer series paper or something would really punch it up a notch. So these are really versatile. Again, you can just use the dies by themselves. You can use the dies with the stamping. And there's some other images here too, which are cut out with the die. So again, lots of versatility. And you can even mix and match those words to create different sayings. I really like the samples. Take a look at those and you'll see some really great ideas. On page 31, this is where you're going to find the textured shimmer paper. And again, um, 
That one comes in the three different colors, balmy blue, white, and uh, what did I say that one was? Shaded Spruce. We also have a similar product, but it's a little bit different and I wanted to show you it. This is called the Fine Shimmer Paper, and this one comes in Fresh Freesia. Um, what is this color called? Soft, soft Succulent and Gold. So this is a little bit different than the product that I've used on your card here today, which is the corrugated. So let me see if I can show you the difference. So this is almost like a very, very fine glimmer paper. It's got a white backing and it's a little bit thicker. You get um, two sheets of each of the three colors in the pack. But here you can see we've got the lines on that corrugated paper and there's a third one, the white one that we use. But then as we transition, you can really see the difference here that this is true, like glittery shimmer paper. So I like um, having the options of both of those. Like this is a little bit more pastel and then this starts getting a little bit more vibrant. And then the white is really versatile too. Again, this is double sided as well and it has that great texture. So I think they're both wonderful packs, but they're very different. So I wanted to show the difference to you because the catalog is hard to tell. On page 65, I used the dies from the Framed Florets Bundle. This is a really fun pack. So not only do you get a great stamp set, you can bundle and save. You also get this robust die pack here, which comes with a whole bunch of different pieces. The pieces that I used to create your project here were two dies that I held together with some washi tape. And you can see after cranking it through 48 times, yeah, it's um, <laughs> the washi tape is starting to break down a little bit, but the washi tape holds it in place so that I can get that perfect matte look every single time. Now, when you crank it through, you'll get a piece like this, and then you'll also get two other pieces. You'll get this little frame cut out, which you can see it actually um, does some embossing on there, and then you'll get the inside oval too. So if you used just this heart one on its own, you wouldn't have this cutout piece here. It would look like a solid piece of cardstock with just an oval of hearts cut out. Does that make sense? Some of these other dies here, they've cut out stamped images or even some layering pieces that you can use just on their own. And then there's this other oval, which cuts out two other really fun pieces. So when you die cut with this oval, you get this decorative piece with all these cut out pieces. And then you also get this internal one, which has this beautiful border along the edge. Can you guys see that there? So this pack here is gonna give you lots of versatility. Ovals are one of my favorite shapes because you can just use them in so many different ways. You can use them vertically or horizontally. They fit a lot of sayings or you can use them even as just a layer to ground your whole artwork and um, I really like the hearts too. I think that that's a really fun design. So again, bundle and save 10%. You're really going to want to get both of those together. I'm using this stamp set on my last card that we're showing today. Again, if you're ever wondering about how the dies work, just take a, a look at the bundle index at the back and then you can see what pieces cut out. Um, how, I guess, how the pieces cut out. This one, we've got some special adhesives from the annual catalog. So the multi-purpose, sorry, the fine tip glue pen is the one here. And then also the adhesive sheets. These adhesive sheets are super handy because they come in six inches by 12 inches. And all I do when I'm die cutting is stick some on the back of a car piece of cardstock, and then you can just put your dies on top and crank it through your machine and then it's good to go. You've just made a sticker in the shape that um, you've cut out. So when you peel it off, one side is going to be waxy, one side is going to have this sticky adhesive. And so peel off the waxy side, stick it onto your paper, and then now when this goes through, then you can peel it off afterwards. Imagine you've die cut a shape out, right? Oh my goodness. Can't do it with my uh, there we go. So now it's got that sticky adhesive on there. So leave that on as you crank it through, crank it through the front side so that it's got the adhesive on the back side, and then you can stick that onto your project. 
one of my favorite sneaky tricks for die cutting intricate shapes is to put that adhesive sheet on the back. Page 143 is where we've got the heart furl. Did you see these or did they become invisible to you? Maybe they, they are. Heart pearls are great because they come in again the three different colors. So like a glossy, um, what do they call this one? Pearl, uh, glossy white, pearl white, and milky white. And white is my favorite embellishment color because you can just take your um, blending, stamp and blends markers and color those whatever color that you want. So you could even have little blue hearts if you wanted to. All right, you ready for our next card? I hope so. We're moving right along here. The next one has a fun designer series paper base. And you might have like a color scheme that's blue or you might have a color scheme that's more orange, orange and pink. But this is the card that we're going to be making here. It's using the milkshake bundle, but we're going to make this into a little sundae. And we're going to color these little drips as like little ice cream drips there if you want to. We've got the silver spoon sticking out of the bowl, little cherry on top. And then when you open it inside, there's a little spot here that can hold a gift card. So I'll show you an example here. That's where my gift card is. So the cute little metallic spoon and bowl. And then as you open it up, oops, something is sticking on there. There we go. You got this great spot to hold a little gift card and then write your message on the inside. So this is a sheet of paper that's five and a half inches by full 12 inches and I just scored so that the front and the back would be the regular four and a quarter and then I scored once in the middle here so if you're going to make the same kind of card as me you're going to want to fold this here now if you don't have a punch that's going to work with this um, first of all it's too bad you can use dies though no problem dies will work or um, you could choose to leave this as a full piece and then just add, maybe you want to cut some cardstock and then you can add even another sentiment on there or something, right? Like you could do sentiment, some um, other milkshake or something like that, and then they would have your writing here on the back side of the card. So if you need to switch it up, definitely do that, whatever works for you. But I'm going to show you how to make this version here. So for this version, I'm going to be using a really handy punch. This is the decorative circle, and I think it's a wonderful addition to your collection because it's a circle, so it's the most versatile shape, but it's a decorative circle, so it's a little bit more fancy than the other one. I'm not going to get too much adhesive in the middle here. I actually don't want any adhesive there because this punch here needs to... Um, go into cardstock that's not adhered so that the so that this can slip in and out. So we don't want any adhesive in this area, okay? Now we will at the end here put a mini glue dot just so that the gift card doesn't slide right through, right? But this is a design that I came up with. So if this was done by anyone else, I don't know, but um I didn't look it up. I just kind of came up with it. So I'm going to say created by Kelly Ends. <laughs> so um, if there's somebody else that did something like this, then great minds think alike. Okay. So I just um, lined it up so that it was kind of halfway cut there. And then that is going to give this little pocket opening here that I can put my gift card in. Again, my adhesive just went there and there, there and there leaving this part open so that the gift card can slide in and fit right in there, okay? All right, now we've got all of our little bits and pieces. Why don't we work our way from the back, moving forward. All right, so I'm gonna stamp and seal. Oh, that's ready to be refilled at any minute here. Now, while we're thinking of it, let's just put that little bit of adhesive dot there. So a mini glue dot. I'm going to use my um, 
take your pick tool and roll it in half so it's even smaller and then it um, will let that gift card just sit in there so nicely. I love having options for gift cards or you know if you didn't want to have a gift card in there you could even just have a little tag that would fit in there that would look really cute too. It would have to be smaller than this right? It'd have to be a little bit smaller to fit into the opening but you could even do something like that right? That would look adorable. So as we move to the front here um, let's take a look at this piece of textured paper. This is our raindrops embossing folder. Isn't it cute? We're going to take this up a notch if you want with um, blending brushes. So these are our new blending brushes. They're the mini size and they are significantly smaller than our regular blending brushes. So you can see the handles basically exactly the same but the brush end is much much smaller and these are bristles kind of looks like a sponge and that's what I thought it was when I first saw it but these are wonderful to use because they're all just super smooth bristles so now with the smaller um, brush head you have a little bit more versatility in terms of um, applying it in a certain spot so I'm going to use that I have to move something here and the color schemes are for this um, orangey version Calypso Coral, Mango Melody, and Petal Pink. Those are going to be the colors of your ice cream. So if you wanted to matchy matchy those, so again, Calypso Coral, Mango Melody, and Petal Pink. If you're doing this color scheme here, we've got Postal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, and Balmy Blue. As your ice cream colors. So again, Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, and Balmy Blue. So I'm going to go with those ones since I'm making the new color scheme and I love a good matchy matchy card. I'm going to start with kind of the lightest one and I'm going to use all of them with the same brush because they're all kind of in the same color scheme. So which do you think is the lightest one? I don't know. Coastal Cabana maybe? When you're using these brushes just glide your brush on don't worry about inking it up too much and then this part here this center part here is going to be covered with designer series paper and another sheet of white so I'm just going to start off there and then if I get any splurge like that then I don't have to worry about it but I can apply the texture or sorry I can um, adjust the pressure I was going to say to apply the ink on to this textured part. I can put it all over, I can make it really dark, but for this card I want a little bit more of a light touch. So again starting in the middle or off of the card and then coming in and applying it a little bit more. And I almost did the thing that I said not to do. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So I'm doing it in a couple of different spots here. Then I'm just going to take a sheet of scrap paper and I'm just going to swirl it around and around and around to kind of clean it off in between. So again, these come in a pack of three. You can kind of work within the same color scheme on one before washing it off, but they do rinse really, really well underneath the tap too. So you don't have to worry about that so much. I'm working with my granny apple green now. This really makes a big difference when you're looking at it in person. It might be one of those things that just doesn't get caught very well on camera. But trust me, you're going to just have to trust me and know that it's really adding a lot to put this ink on here. So now I can go to the kind of darkest color again. I'm going to swirl it off. You've got a little bit of ink on there, but it's not too bad. And now the balmy blue goes on there. Starting in the middle. Ooh, this one is a little bit darker, so I'm going to have a really light hand with this one. Better to go over it a few more times and have a big 
um, inky spot, right? Oh, these are so cute. I really love how this is looking. And now nobody is going to even know about this part here because I'm going to cover it up. <laughs> so now, just while I'm thinking of it, I'm going to clean this off and then pressing pretty hard on that to get off the excess ink. And then you can just rinse it underneath the, um, the sink. We've also got new storage for our blending brushes, you guys. Do you see that in the catalog? I love that idea. Okay, so let's get this piece here. And then, yeah, so my stamp and seal is just about out. Make sure you check your supply and purchase your extra adhesives during celebration, right? I'm going to leave this just for a minute because I want to stamp on this piece here first. So using the coordinating share milkshake stamp set, you can choose Life is Sweeter with You, Be My Valentine, You're the Cherry on Top. I might do that one actually. That's a cute one, isn't it? Since I've already done all the other ones. These ones are photopolymers, so you don't have to worry about um, that extra step of mounting your mounting your rubber. There we go. You're the cherry on top. The stamp color or the ink color that I'm using with this one is a smoky slate. I just thought it kind of tied in with the um, silver. And this is a little bit of a taller stain, so I'm going to make sure that it's not too high up off the bottom. There we go. You're the cherry on top. Isn't that cute? Love that. And then now I can put this on. Put it on top of the stripey one. You can use the back side if you want to. This is our designer series paper from another one of our designer series paper from Celebration. This one is actually a deluxe item. It's like four packages of paper in one. So it's redeemable, not at the $60 level, but at the $120 level. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but those little ice cream droplets really pop out when you add the color on them. Close this up and pop that away. And now we can start putting our little ice cream bowl together. Let's put on some mini glue dots, or sorry, mini Stampin' Dimensionals on here. I'm going to use a lot of dimensionals on this card because I just think it's such a simple and adorable design. It's nice to pop it up with some extra glue dots, or sorry, extra dimensionals. So this piece here is really fun. This can either be the top of the milkshake or a top of... Um, like a scoop of ice cream, but it's got this little hole here, this little slit that gets cut, and you can stick a straw in there, or I am going to stick a spoon in for our sundae. And now on the back side here, I'm going to put a big dimensional to hold both of those pieces. And then that piece goes on just over the top like that. And then for these other pieces, I wanted to create you know, that this was so big that it was um, had mounds of ice cream in the back. So I'm just going to put these on with some stamp and seal. And I tuck them in behind here, just like that. This one I'm going to actually use kind of upside down so you can see the cutting edge um, is going a little bit differently. And the reason why is because I like this lump so much I want it up here. There we go. And then to finish it off, we've got a little cherry that we can put on top. A little faceted jewel. 
You are the cherry on top. Oh, did I put that on crooked? Slightly. Let's pull out a little bit. <laughs> Do you guys ever have that? You look at your project when it's all finished, like, wait a second, what was going on there? <laughs> all right, I think that's better. It still could use maybe a little bit of a twist. <laughs> there we go. So you're the cherry on top. We've got the cute silver spoon coming out of the top. And then inside, we've got this great little spot where we can hold a gift card. Woohoo! Let me show you where these products come from. So from Celebration, sorry that was loud probably. From Celebration, uh, we are using, which one is it? This one here. So this is called Dandy Designs Designer Series Paper, and it's got 48 sheets of 12 by 12. So normally in a pack of 12 by 12 paper, you get 12 sheets of double-sided 12 by 12. This one is 48, so it's actually four times the size of a normal pack. And it's got all these great vibrant colors, soft colors, everything that you can use to put together some really great projects. What I like about something like this is that you can make a card with the designer series paper as a base and not feel like you're using it up, right? You've got plenty of it. And um, I did 48 cards with the designer series paper as base and look at how much I still have left. There's so many options for this one. From our mini catalog, we used a few products from in here. This share a milkshake bundle is so much fun. Can you see how you can make the little milkshake with the um, foam on the top or the ice cream on the top with the straws coming out? This one here has the straw and then you can double stamp it with the little stripes that go onto the straw. There's even a cherry. There's these cute little hearts that we used on um, the first project there, the Valentine's project. And most of all, I really like that the sayings go perfectly for a, a whole bunch of different occasions. The dies that go along with this are really fun. Let me dig those out because sometimes you just have to see those dies. The dies are really fun because they, of course, cut out the stamped images, or you can just use them on their own like we did on our project here. This one is a really fun shape that you can fold up and turn into a little waffle cone. And it does the embossing already on there of that waffle shape. This they've used as a layering element. So you'd want to use your um, adhesive sheets for something like this. But they've used it for this red piece here or a few pieces here that are in that crumb cake color to match. So I really like this piece that you could um, emboss with it even. You could cut it out and have it as a separate layer. And then yeah, you've got little hearts, you've got all of those shapes, um, even cutting out the little cherry on top too, if you want. The opaque adhesive backed gems are hiding up here on page 13. And these ones are really special. This is kind of two packs put together because I just used the largest and some of the medium size of the um, Melon Mambo color. You've got Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Fresh Freesia, and White. Again, white, you can color and make them any color of the rainbow that you want. So green, blue, whatever you choose. And they've got these great facets on them that make them just sparkle from every angle. I love it when the adhesive is on the back too. If you guys are crazy about cats, you're going to want this Love Cats, which also has some Valentine's sayings too. So it's got all these little hearts on there, head over heels about you, I love hanging out with you, hi there Valentine. I like stuff like this because you can stamp it with one color and it's already got that cat colored in, ready to go. <laughs> Perfect for those of you who have black cats. Wink, wink, one friend I know in particular. <laughs> so on page 51, this little raindrops embossing folder I thought was versatile for rain, of course, or you could have it as dripping ice cream like we did on our card here. This is great because it's a square folder. You can choose to put your card front in or your piece of paper in horizontally or vertically and have the rain dripping down that way. This I think is gonna be a really fun one that we'll get to play with in a lot of different ways. Page 67, we've got our small blending brushes. And then we also have the large blending brushes that they reference. Those are in our annual catalog. 
And then this is our brand new blending brushes storage. I think that this is very clever for keeping it all organized and you can see exactly which colors are what. Uh, I recommend getting one or two sets to cover all the colors of the rainbow. Then you can have one that's like for the greens, one that's for blues, one for purples, one for pinks and reds, and um, so on and so forth. On page 139, this silver foil is similar to the one that is in the annual catalog here. The one that I used is actually a retired product, and that's part of the gift that is available with a minimum $120 purchase this month. So it's a silver foil sheets. But if you wanted a similar look, you could get this silver foil three pack. It includes three single sided sheets, one of each of um, brush finish, matte finish, and a mirrored foil finish. Page 153, this decorative circle is a wonderful addition to your collection. Circles are great, they're so versatile, and this one is just that, it's decorative, so it's a little bit more, um, a little bit more accented for a little bit more excitement, I guess, on your project, I suppose. All right, last project, you guys. I'm just pulling everything out here so I can have it ready to go at the end. There we go. All right, your last project is going to have another designer series paper base. I like to spoil you guys during celebration and give you big chunks of designer series paper because especially because I can get them for a good deal, right? Free is the best deal of all. <laughs> this is the card that we're going to be making here. So you can choose to do white embossing onto the black or I'm going to show you a sneaky little trick. But this little trifold card is I guess it's like, what is this? It's not a trifold card, because there's not three. What is this? This is a gate card? I think it's a gate card. But we're going to use some designer series paper here. Um, just trim it out, and then it's just going to make it look so spectacular. And again, you might have the other color scheme, which would be a little bit more of like the orangey, peachy tones. So whichever one that you have, um, I hope that you enjoy playing around with either some embossing or some stamping here. What I've done is I've cut two rectangles the exact same size. And if you don't have the supplies for embossing, you can use just a black ink onto the lighter color of the two. Or if you have the ability to emboss, you might want to go dramatic on this one and layer this piece, the lighter piece in behind and stamp your saying onto this black piece. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use my embossing buddy. This one here is an old one, but it's back, baby. And I'm so happy about that. We have a three pack of products, which I'm just thrilled about. It includes a tray for your embossing powder, an embossing buddy, and these fabulous new ceramic tipped reverse tweezers. So in the closed position, or I guess in the resting position, the tip stays closed and then you can open it up to hold it. So I'm going to show you in a minute how I enjoy using those. The ceramic tip just means that um, you're not going to be burning your fingers with your embossing gun, your heat tool. So I'm using a saying stamp set called Frame Florets. This is the one that I referenced before. It's the one that goes along with those oval dies. So I've got some things already mounted here. Wishes for a beautiful birthday is I think what I'm going to do. I always need birthday cards. I'm using my Versamark Super Sticky Ink. And I'm going to stamp Wishes for a Beautiful Birthday. And again, it just gives that watermark look. So you can't really see it, but you can use it just like that on its own too. It takes a little while to dry, but um, once it does, it'll make it look like you stamped with black on black paper or the same color of ink on the same color of paper. So you could do that, but what I like to do with this super sticky ink is use it for heat embossing. My favorite technique I've got one of my big old trays here, but I just scoop up the powder like this. 
and you can see that that just stays right on there. Now you have to heat set it. That's, some people forget that step and then they think that they're done by just sprinkling the powder over top. The ink is not that sticky that it will keep it in place. It has to be set still. So using our heat tool, this is very different than a hair dryer. This heats up to about 300 degrees. Oh, I can do these both at the same time with my reverse tweezers, you guys. I better get some of these extra pieces off. Extra little flecks that will dry on there and set into the paper. Here we go. Can you see that starting to change there? I can see it more on this one. I just love embossing. I think it's so satisfying. <laughs> there we go. So now that this is done, I can wipe off this excess. Ooh, that was a little bit hot still. I'm going to give that a minute. I'm going to wipe off that excess from the embossing buddy. And I'll let that set while I'm doing some trimming here. Okay, so I'm going to make you do some hand cutting. But I've got some hints for you. And guess what? It's one of those things in life where the only way to get better at it is to practice. So practice makes, oh, Colleen told me this wonderful saying last night. Now I can't even remember. Practice makes improvement. No. Practice makes progress. That's what she said. She's If she's watching this, I don't know why she'd watch it again because she already stamped with me live last night. <laughs> but if she's watching this, she's going... Come on! <laughs> Shouting at her computer. <laughs> Practice makes progress. And isn't that the truth? So if you are not comfortable uh, with trimming or hand cutting, doing some fussy cutting like we like to call it, I have some tips for you. So keep your um, scissor hand as straight as you can and then just pivot this paper around and then you can, you'll find that you don't stress as much. You, there's not so much stress or tension in your fingers. Oh, I want to go a little bit closer there. There we go. Um, and it just works so much easier. It doesn't have to be perfect. Guess what? Nobody is going to look at your project as intently as you are right now as you're cutting, right? But I just love the look of fussy cut images like this. I think it makes it look so beautiful. And it makes it so that we can stamp together too using these supplies because um, I can't send out stamped images in my project kits. It goes against Stampin' Up's copyright policy, but I can get you to cut out the design of series paper. So this is a wonderful workaround so that you can have some beautiful imagery on your club projects. So this piece, yes, it's cut off. Don't you worry, we're gonna use it in a very um, smart way. I wanted to make sure that you didn't feel like this section of the designer series paper was wasted when you receive it. If you're doing a card that's similar to this, oh, I'm gonna to totally snip off that bud there. Sorry bud, you didn't make the cut. So now I can take those little pieces here and we're going to arrange them onto our card. So taking my cardstock, sorry, this is not cardstock, this is designer series paper backing. You have to figure out whether you want the geometric pattern on the outside or on the inside. I kind of like that burst of floral on the inside with these big flowers going on to more of the geometric. So I'm going to stay doing that same kind of layout. You might have to just move this a little bit if, if it's not um, scored completely straight. But I do have score lines on there. And the score lines are at half of an inch. And then, uh, what would this be at? Three and a quarter, I believe. 
so that this cardstock base is the regular five inches long. This sheet got a little bit crooked. I didn't have this problem with the other two, so I hope that yours is straight. There we go. So this piece here, I wanted to have it as an extra little bit of structure to the card base. Because we're using designer series paper, it doesn't have the regular weight of cardstock, so I don't want it to feel flimsy. And just by reinforcing it with like a double layer there, it really helps. Other things that help are adding a piece of cardstock to the actual backing of it. So we definitely want to do that whenever we're making a designer series paper base. So pretty. I love how all these colors come together. And it, it's so um, subdued on the outside, isn't it? And then it just goes into this explosion of color. There we go. Now on the outside, I can probably wipe this now. You can take a baby wipe or you can just even rub it off with your fingers and that will take off that little bit of powder that helped us out taking away the static electricity or any sticky fingerprints and now it's good to go. How did I do this? This is a mess I think. So some stamp and seal on the back. There we go. And now for this part here, I'm going to be a little bit cognizant of where I'm putting my dimensionals. I'm going to put dimensionals only on this side, and that's so that the card can open up. If you had it on this side too, it would glue your card completely shut. So what I do so that I can figure this out is I flip it over just like that, and then put dimensionals only on the side where it's going to be stuck to. Have you guys ever done that before? Glue your card completely shut? Oh, I'm seeing black cat emojis. Yes, Michelle, you know I'm talking about you. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we'll line this up. This is my way of going straight but crooked. I'm always trying to get outside of my comfort zone, and my comfort zone is everything straight and perfect. Now this is a way of, you know, expanding my creativity, and that is to um, start putting things on crooked. But did you notice I put the black on straight and then this other piece on crooked? So, okay, baby steps, right? Baby steps. I'm having to pull up a little bit here just so that I don't have the um, leaf going off the card. You could also trim that off if you wanted to, but I would like to use as much. You might even find that you have to trim down this cut piece, right? Just be too much to go up there. I'm not worried about something like this because I've got some leaves that will go over top of that and can cover it up. So I'm going to just do this the best that I can here, tucking out there. And then now I can grab those little leaves. Do you guys notice on your leaves that some of these are embossed and some of them are a little bit more plain? This is a really fun die pack. Can you see the one at the top there has embossing on it? And that happens right when you crank it through. And then this other one here is also from that same set, but it's made to cut out the, um, the stamped image. So you can still use it. I think it works great on a card like this because then you can have the texture on some, adding interest and excitement. So I'll put those there. And then this bigger one here, I can open up my card and put it just like that. So I don't want to put any adhesive here, so remembering that I'm gonna flip it over and go in a little bit, just like that. And you know, as exciting as it may seem to put it hanging over the edge, I am always thinking about the fact that I want to mail these in a standard envelope. I don't want to make my own envelope. So if you keep it in from the edge of the cardstock, that means it will fit into a regular um, envelope. So now let's add these fun little pieces here. You can put these on with 
mini glue dots if you want. I might do that because I'm getting to the end of my stamp and seal here and it's starting to become a little bit harder to pull. So we're going to work on smaller pieces like this. I'm just going to pull this underneath here. Oh boy, sticky. There we go. And then where should this little piece go? Where do you think? Maybe here, next to this cute little bud. That adds a little bit more excitement, doesn't it? You open it up and you see this beautiful explosion of flowers. Oh, I love it. And then the final finishing touch is to add on these cute little milky dots. So I'm going to put two down here and one up here. Ta-da! Look at that. Three totally different color schemes, but really stunning cards. So this one, as you open it up, you've got that beautiful explosion of purple. This one, you've got... Uh, that more like peachy and orange color. And then this one here is a mixture of both of them, which works so well together. This designer series paper pack, have you figured out which one it is? It's our other celebration designer series paper pack. And it has grown on me so much. <laughs> I think that the other flower one initially caught my eye the one that's a little bit more like light in color. This one though, I think now is my new favorite. It's just so stunning, so different. You get really bold flower imagery on one side and then you get a completely graphic print on the other side. So here we've got purple smaller flowers and the back side we've got this gorgeous geometric print. This one here, they're nicely spaced out so you can trim them just like what we did. On the back side, again, geometric. This one's got those beautiful colors all mixed together. And on the back side, that really soft petal pink color geometric print. This one, again, great opportunity to cut these out. On the back side, fresh freesia. And then we've got the orangey kind of color scheme with the orange geometric. So, okay, are you a flower person or are you not a flower person? Because if you look at one side of this paper, you sure hope that you're a flower person because there's a lot of flowers, right? Now, I don't know about you, but I love crafting with flowers. But if you're not that kind of person or if you're crafting for somebody in your life who is not as into flowers, Perhaps this color scheme or this pattern might be more up their alley, hey? Oh, I'm so glad that you could join us. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Alrighty, so we're just going to go through from the catalogs here and talk about where these products came from. So celebration, we've got our favored flowers. This is 12 by 12 paper and you get two of each of six double-sided designs. And then from our mini catalog, we've got, um, what did I use here? The Milky Dots, let me show you those. They come in really fun colors. So kind of the purpley color, the soft purple and white that I gave you. And then the other two colors are really vibrant. Aren't they cool? So these are Night of Maybe and Mango Melody. And then the other colors are Petal Pink and White. So lots of versatility in a pack like this. On page 63, this is a really fun die pack. I initially fell in love with the die pack, but the stamp set is really cool to go along with it too. But look at these dies. They've got all of these engravings in them. So when you crank them through, recognize that leaf there? you actually get the imprint of the flower. So we're gonna have lots of fun with those over the coming months. And on page 76, again, you can see those dies in action a little bit more. And then in our annual catalog, we've got a couple of items. 
we have our embossing tool and then we've got our Stampin' Emboss powders. They come in two different sets. There's a Basics which comes with black, clear and white and there's a Metallics which comes in copper, gold and silver. And then you'll just want to have the Versamark ink to go along with that. Again, they're showing you here, you can use the Versamark ink to have that watercolor or the watermark um, look or you can use it to stick on some embossing powder. And I think that's it from the annual catalog. So there you have it, folks. I want to know which card was your favorite. So was it this beautiful garden color scheme, a bit fresh and purpley, or was it maybe your um, Valentine that's not so flowery and pink. Maybe it's our fun little Sunday with a gift hold, gift card holder, or is it this? Oh, look at this! I found another. Let's see, another one here. I'll tuck it back there. There we go. Um, or is it this beautiful folding designer series paper card with these gorgeous florals? Which one is it? Oh, you're a flower person, Michelle says. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a flower person too. I Every catalog that comes out, I always fall in love with new flower sets, especially when they put them with such great sayings. That's what really gets me. So I know I have my eye on many of them. We're going to have some fun over the coming months. I wanted to mention as well, stay tuned. Uh, you are going to have... Uh, some information coming to you about my product shares. So from the mini catalog, I do them in different categories. So you can get a designer series paper share, you can get an embellishment share or a ribbon share. And so you could choose one of those or two of those, or you can choose the gotta have it all special. And that's going to give you everything from that mini catalog and more because I'm going to give you some celebration stuff too. So stay tuned for the pricing on those. Or if you're watching this in the future, just reach out to me. I might have um, one that I can make up for you really quickly. So um, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for some other class announcements that I hope to be doing in the coming months here. I am really excited to be getting back into my studio and having some of you over because I love this online format. This is so much fun and I know it works uh, for so many of you because you're, first of all, you're not in Edmonton. Maybe the night doesn't work for you. Maybe, you know, you have someone in your family who's sick or you're on vacation or something like that. You can watch these whenever. But I want to do some more stamping with you in person. So I'm going to be supplementing with some technique and product based classes. So in addition to club, club will stay online, but I'm going to be doing some classes that are technique based. So um, showcasing coloring, for example, and giving you some really fun techniques that you can work on there in the class or even product based. So like our masking paper, I want to show you how that works and have you um, touch it and feel it and use it in person. So um, stay tuned for those. But I'm so grateful that you're joining me for crafting in any capacity. So if you're watching this in Canada, if you're watching this in the future, please reach out to me because I do have probably some of these kits left over. And if not these ones, then I definitely have some other ones because I've been online now since the beginning of the pandemic. So reach out to me. Let me know if you are interested in doing some of my online classes and I'll let you know which ones are available and I'll be happy to send those out to you. So thanks again, everybody, uh, for joining me and I hope to stand with you again very soon.